Hi guys, so this is part two of my prophetic visitation. So please look at um, part one first if you haven't seen it, because um, I'm going to continue. I'm just continuing on with what I was speaking about, okay? Um, so I'm just going to continue straight into it. Okay, so I was, the Lord was leading me through this place, okay? And I was seeing different things, okay? So I feel I am moving along a wall again. Okay. The weapons of our warfare are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. The Lord is giving me that word as I am moving along again because I'm moving in this chamber again. I think the Lord is wanting to highlight this to, to me. Oh, I see a hand coming down through the roof. Wow. It thrust downward. I just saw it like, oh, I see a hand coming through the roof of this ugly place. This hand is like a powerful looking. It's like a spiritual hand of light breaking through the roof. So I literally, that's what I saw. I'm in this chambers of hell, basically. And I see this hand coming down. It's like someone must be praying or something and they're coming down and it's impacting hell. And actually, I saw a lot of flashes like that on the roof of hell, like where the glory was kind of invading a little bit. It was, it was funny. It was strange, you know, it was strange. You can't explain every, all these spiritual things, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> so the light dissipates the darkness. I see the walls of this chamber going down, down, down. There is different levels of this pit that you can go down to. And these chambers are very deep. I can see it going down. There's no lift. I'm just moving down this chamber like an elevator shaft without an elevator. Oh, I see, I saw a cage there. I just passed it. There's other ones. There's cages built in down here. And it's dark, it's dark. Sometimes I'm seeing things lit up. Now I'm seeing a cave again, a cell. It's a cave and a cell. There's obviously beings in there. It's like they are just naturally carved into these walls, these cells, like. They're ugly, very dark. The Lord is shining a very dim torchlight on it so I can see some of the shapes. I'm not seeing it graphically, but very dimly. It's all darkness in these caverns, but it's he is giving me very dim light so I get to see a bit of it. Anyway, funny enough, outside of one of these caves, I was seeing a candlestick with drips. So there was no candle lighting. It just had the can candlestick with drips. Um, it was not lighting, just sitting outside a cave. I am still in this place. I sense there's a lot of detail around nukes and crannies and that kind of thing. This must be a very big place. I see tunnels dividing off now into other tunnels, other tunnel-like caves shooting off into other directions. Okay, I'm seeing something. I saw someone in the wall of this tunnel. I saw for a second it looked like a man standing straight and upright with a red soldier type of uniform that resembled Michael Jackson. Now, I don't know if it was Michael Jackson, but the way his stance was, it was kind of like him. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if it was him. I, I'm not going to confirm one way or the other. I sense something about a baby down here. I see it. I don't know what it is. Something has happened to a baby. My sense is something to do with a baby, and maybe this is a consequence coming here because I felt like, this was the lowest hell because I went down this big shaft way, way, way down. Um, and I felt also that the Lord showed me that anyone that, you know, does anything to children will go to the lowest hell. Right. So I think it's tied up in that. <clears throat> I still feel under the presence of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is all about me. He is upon me. OK, I was just seeing sand. Now, this is very interesting. Just ch changes here. OK. So I see like a hand brushing the sand and it's like he's saying that not all is set in stone yet, you know. Okay, so I think it was the hand of the Lord and he's sifting this sand. So I've come, I think I've come out of that place, right? Now I'm feeling just myself. I'm feeling light. Um, I feel light in myself, sensing a breakthrough like light, like a feeling of hope and aliveness, like energy and hopefulness like the glory of God like that clean beautiful fresh glory of God where there is hope filled in it <clears throat> and I just sense and then I'm like whoa 
and the anointing and I'm like wow rushing wow 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 okay rush of the Holy Ghost like a river a rushing water like the glory of God like a river just rushed over me like glory oh my goodness oh my goodness oh the light I am seeing the light the life source of that river it's like a waterfall on me so it really like I just felt this gushing just flooded over me like and I was in this river of light energy power vitality it was just fabulous you know um and i and i began to i began to praise god right um so i'm seeing light i'm seeing light so i'm definitely out of the chambers praise god and then the lord says you do not want to go down to the chambers of death and hell the Lord says, you do not want to go down to these chambers of death and hell. So that's the Lord's message about this place. I can see the chambers from here. I'm looking at it. You don't want to go down here. Anyone who worships idols will go down here. Anyone who commits idolatry will go down here. There is different ways to go down to the chambers. I see steps on one level and there's different ways to go down. It's very intricate. Now I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. He is full of light. Heaven is full of his energy, his life force. He is like a river. The Holy Ghost moves like a river, a river of light, of healing, of hope. It is a cleansing river. It gives you life. It gives you vitality. It gives you everything. It's energy, it's energy, it's life, it's love, it's renewal, restoration. Oh, I see sunbeams, like laser sunbeams in the heavens. I think it's the Holy Spirit that's doing it, that's causing this laser light show. It's like a laser light show I could see in the heavens, right? Um, they are different colors. I think they are providing energy, light, love, radiance. There's no darkness in heaven. There's no darkness. There is depths in heaven. There is clouds and there's tall buildings and very tall buildings and cities and they are being built. Behold, I create a new heaven and earth. The Lord, now this was interesting to me, the Lord breathes in heaven. <laughs> I just saw the Lord breathe and it's like energy and light and love. He's pouring it out and bellowing it out in his breath. Now I am thinking it's coming from somewhere. I think it's the throne room of God. And I feel his anointing on me. Um, okay, there is two things I felt the Lord saying. It's a neutron bomb. So this is kind of going back to that incident where I saw this big explosion going off. Okay. So now the Lord is giving me a bit more information. I feel the Lord saying it's a neutron bomb that's in re relevance to earlier in my first video, okay? And then I saw something powerful moving very fast through the sky, like a rock that was on fire. It looked almost like a chrysolite or something. It was on blazing fire. It was shooting very fast. And I, get, and I, and I hear him saying, put on the whole armor of God that you will be able to stand. Now that rock was significant because God was showing it to me very very clear I saw this fast moving crystallite rock it was blazing okay and it could be the asteroids that's going to be hit the earth right um okay um okay so it was shooting very fast again I heard him say put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand I keep seeing formations of clouds Heaven feels huge, very vast, a lot going on. I don't know. I think these formations are being formed now. I don't understand what it is. I don't know. Okay, I don't. I think I was just seeing formations and I didn't really understand what I was seeing. It's changing. I have a feeling of movement at the moment. I just passed a waterfall, a river, and seeing it in vague color, not a vibrant color. So it's like when I was in heaven, God was dimming heaven and when i was in hell he was bringing a light in hell okay so it was a dim uh, he was dimming heaven for me right um okay 
So I think I caught a glimpse of a street, a paved street, street, and I saw a woman and I heard Holy One. And she's lit up and she's pouring out a bucket, but there's light pouring out from the bucket. Now the feeling that I'm walking, I don't know. It feels like a church or a cathedral or something. It's very ornate everywhere on the floor and high ceilings, there's carvings. I'm going down a corridor now. There's a stairwell on the right hand side. It feels now very homely, like someone's home. I'm seeing the banisters on the very edge of the stairwell. I'm now seeing it clearly again. It's through dim torchlight, just showing me certain aspects. I think it must be somebody's house. I thought it was a cathedral because it felt so big. It had that kind of big dimension, but it was a very or ornamental house and it's got a big stairwell. Oh, somebody's opening the door at the top of the stairs. I see light and I feel the welcoming. Um, someone, um, someone is welcoming this person in and now the door is being closed. I feel it's someone's home in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing ornaments. I don't know what they are. Ornaments, cherubims being held by hands up on the wall. That's what I'm seeing. Um, show me more, please. Thank you, Lord God. I'm seeing light. I'm seeing people. I'm seeing a city really full of light, very radiant light at a distance from me. I think you would have to be in glory to experience this light. I just saw a very quick vision of the city. He is telling me about spaceships now. Evil spaceships is what I hear him saying. I feel him saying, city of light. I felt him saying, guardian angel. Praise you, Lord. I heard him saying, I hear him saying, harvest of souls. I saw the sky opening up, 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 like a chamber in the clouds like a tunnel now, like a square tunnel up through the clouds. I'm feeling the presence of the Lord lifting off of me. Wow, amazing. I feel his presence lift off me. The anointing is on my fingers, but the heavy presence is lifted off me. And then it finishes there. So it's very interesting visitation that I had from the Lord that God was showing me different things. Um, it was very interesting to me. Um, so I hope it's interesting to you. I don't know if it confirms things or says anything. Um, the two natural things that God showed me there was the bomb and the asteroid. Two natural big events. I believe God showed me them because they're very significant. And there's going to be a huge loss of life. And I think that's why God was showing me a twofold, a chambers of hell. And these events happening but that if people cried out upon the name of the lord that jesus would lift them out of hell that's what he showed me as well at the beginning of that visitation so there's a lot of elements to it you know and as i look at it again i'm sure other things will jump out to me maybe they jump out to you love your comments if you have any um, any discussions you want to have with me about it you know feel free to contact me um and um look forward to hearing from you all so god bless you my friends and uh, speak to you again soon bye